Oh, hey, Ilios. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? I guess I can take this screen off so you don't T2ers me again. So, we saw some Junkrat Fara Sombra last time, but it doesn't look like these teams are being as creative. Seeing mirror matching Zenyatta Goats. So, we'll have to see the initial rollouts. So, Atlanta is heading to Cage. Philly's heading for high ground. Probably a better position for Philly off that initial drop. They just get to choose. They have more choices. Poke Poke gets collapsed on. Interesting perspective for the casters or the observers to choose Dogman here. And probably wanted to see a third person camera so we can see a little bit more what's going on. But yeah, so I liked Philly's rollout better. Um, it just gives them more options. They roll out on the high ground. They can either drop um, or they can spam out for a little bit longer. Or they can kind of like go back and swap if they don't like it. Pokebo once again drops earlier, and it looks like there was a little bit of miss, like, uncoordinated um, comms between the Atlanta Reign, so Philadelphia gets a free team fight there as well. Okay, what are they doing here? So Philly's playing really good, really good positioning here so far. Uh, Sato's in a great spot, especially for the pathing that Atlanta takes. Uh, they don't want them to kind of like move through any choke for free. Sato wants to kind of get one, at least one big beefy hammer swing um, on Atlanta, no matter where they try and push in from. And them rotating through cage doesn't really give them much. There's the hammer comes in, does knock two. Pokepo's trying his best, but that's a very nice hammer from Sato. I didn't see if it was assisted by a shield bash or a boop of any sort. But that's going to be also a very clean fight here. So Philly has good pathing, good decision-making, and decisiveness right now. Um, and Atlanta, so far, their pathing uh, certainly has been poor compared to Philadelphia Fusion here. Can you turn up your mic? Not really. I'm just going to stay at this volume. There's a grab coming out. Doesn't look like they have anything to follow up on it. Didn't even try and bother to counter grab. Barrier comes out as well as it's matched by Rally. There's the hammer. Dogman took out Sato. So hopefully things are starting to move in Atlanta's way. EQO is in trouble. Dogman off screen manages to finish off Carpe. And Atlanta's going to take the cap. It is past 86% though. Um, so that's a point in time in which Atlanta Reign cannot lose a fight anymore. And they only have a transcendence. Carpe has uh, the Graviton, but the Bomb, yes, the Bomb is available for Poco. So the Trance isn't going to be enough. They don't have Sound Barrier, so either they try and Bomb to cover, which means that Daco either needs to eat or Counter Bomb after the Graviton, or Defren needs to get his Graviton and Counter Grav. Weird observing, lost track of what was going on. Masa just barely gets out of there alive. Atlanta is backing off. So there's the... Actually, DeFran pulls the trigger first. I don't think that was what um, Philadelphia was expecting. Um, yeah, I'm, interesting. So they are going to be coming back here with six ultimates. But... Um, interesting. Okay. Philly could have been a lot more aggressive there. Like, they definitely could have... I tr like pulled one of their win conditions or just made a play before Atlanta did on them. Like Atlanta played pretty slow, pretty passive, and they played farther and farther back until DeFran uh, grabbed and saw the opportunity for it. But there was even like a little bit of a delay before the rest of Atlanta went in here. Okay, so the rally is going to be the first thing. Hammer comes out, finds two. Boop from Neptuno is trying to keep them alive, and there's the grab to ensure they can't. Bomb here to try and counter, the, or sorry, Barrier to try and counter the bomb. Both bombs find one, and a second rally comes out to try and keep Atlanta in the fight here. Erster's getting low, though. DeFran is in trouble as well. Carpe burns him down. Pokepo's separated. Hammer on the point. This is firmly in control of Philadelphia. And it is 86%, though, so there's, because it's 86%, you should see swaps coming in from Atlanta trying to get to the point. Pokepo probably coming to come on to Hamster when he respawns. Uh, is he going to? I don't think they get a fight if they don't do swaps. Erster's the one going to hamster, but I think that swap's too late. Masa's trying. Masa, the hero. Can you get a bubble for him? DeFran didn't have a bubble for him. Okay. So, at least they got the touch. Masa's the hero there, but uh, uh, Pokepo was spawning first and should have been the one to go on to hamster. 
Okay, and that's the the first one. I can't show the game. You have to have both streams open. I cannot. It's not allowed. I am just an alternative commentary and analyst. You have to have the, the game open up in a second tab. Okay. Philly looking like the better team, certainly. Certainly looking like the better team so far. Any way to delay the OWL stream? Yeah, you can open it up in VLC. So you can either do multi-twitch, or if you if you so if you have VLC, the um, like the video player client, you can do file open network stream, and then you can paste a twitch.tv URL into VLC, and then you can seek like you would on a normal YouTube video. So definitely, if you want to like finally control the sync of stream, uh, try VLC. Okay. You know, this has got to be just like a, a homage to the, the to the fans at this point. Like, it's not bad, but there's zero percent chance um, that Philadelphia didn't look at this. Like, they've run this multiple times now. I think they've run it every single time uh, they've played on this map. So, what are they going in? I kind of lost track of Philadelphia's initial setup there. Uh, Pokepo is going to get uh, forced out there. He forced out there low, which should allow first cap to go to Atlanta. Sato's going to be... I don't think Sato should have done that. He manages to get out, but he was at like 100 HP there. So Pokepo getting forced out, then Sato getting forced out, and the only kill that uh, uh, Philly actually managed to get was DeFran's turret. So really kind of a disappointing um, first take, or a first attempted take from Philadelphia Fusion going into a composition that Atlanta Reina has shown is on paper very weak and still managing to fuck it up in pretty impressive fashion. I'm sorry. Okay, so where's the second rotation from? The problem with looking at a first-person perspective when you're trying to see how an Orisa composition is being dismantled is the fact that although it's Winston, like, although it's goats, it's Winston goats, and Winston goats, in order to actually take apart an Orisa goat, or not an Orisa goats composition, but just an Orisa composition in general, they need to attack it from different angles. You're going to have like a core, and then you can have uh, two people playing different angles. You could have like the Winston at one angle and the Zenyatta at the other angle. Because if you're playing something like Winston goats with a Zenyatta into an Orisa, the Zenyatta, his shield break isn't enough to matter because Orisa will continue to play, replace the shield. So you can't move the Discord around. If you get it on somebody, it sticks there and you can't change it. You can't apply your damage and you're generally useless. So the initial setup for Winston Goats against Orisa has to involve your Zen doing something in order to get any value at all. And so far, there's Boombox. Like, he's moving over and you're in the pit with Transcendence. Like, I don't know. They looked good on uh, Lighthouse, but uh, this is just sowing... There's a lot of mistakes here from Philly, and it doesn't look like it's player mistakes. It looks like it's coaching mistakes. <laughs> then again, Philly's response to me telling them they had trash goats was just saying, uh-uh, instead of trying to fix their problems. So... <laughs> Molten Core coming out. Pretty sad, Philly. Not like Chris would know good Overwatch if it hit him in the face. Okay. Let's see. Philly looked a lot better on the first map. Atlanta looked a lot better on the second. To be fair, though, Atlanta looked a lot better on the second because of Philly's shortcomings, not because of, like, anything super impressive Atlanta did. So on maps and in segments where Philly doesn't have as specific of a situation in which they need to solve like a puzzle, I think Philly actually does have the advantage in the neutral so far. Okay. 
that wins it's going to take the first map of this series. Apex, it's a best of five. We're looking for the first team to reach. Okay, how is it to Frank? This is great perspective here because we get to see how Atlanta is thinking about using their bubbles. And so far, they're not. So, to, like, there is no sort of kind of like initial bait. There was no sort of energy collection. Really, really disciplined play from the friend there to make sure that the bubbles were used exactly when they needed. And then when they actually did trigger their engagement, both of the bubbles came out at the same time. I think the personal bubble was a little bit suboptimal, but that alone gives us a lot of insight into like how the Atlanta Rain are playing their goats composition. They're not trying to do, trying to do energy gathering like London Spitfire did. Uh, they're not trying to bait like a few other teams do. Uh, they're trying to like look for a trigger and then using those bubbles and saving them for that situation because if they get both like value full value out of both bubbles you're instantly at 80 and you don't need kind of like a set Daco being DMAC there is unfortunate no Zarya sucks there's the rally and a pretty hard engage counter rally comes out though poke poke gets burned down Especially with your D.Va getting demacked, this entire fight is going to go Philadelphia Fusion's way because Daco got uh, demacked, which is unfortunate, but there's not really much you can do about that. Going to try and stall it out. Only get 41%. Next fight, Atlanta's going to have Graviton. Carpe does not. They have Trance. Do they have Bomb? Yes. So how are they going to drop the Bomb? They'll have Barrier if they want to use it, but that's still not a guarantee, especially if like the Lucio dies during the grab, somebody gets pinned or stunned. So the initial rotation is with Atlanta going left. They're looking to go on the inside. Flip. Flip the map. Is that what they're doing? Or are they going to attack? Mm, doesn't look like they're flipping. Okay, so what's your trigger to drop, Atlanta? Okay, so you didn't do the full flip. Okay, Ikkyo just getting caught out there. There's the grav. So there's the pin, but it was onto the actual Trancing Lucio. Or the Trancing Lucio, the Trancing Zenyatta. Barrier does come out, and now that the bomb's been come out, that's good. The only the other thing to watch out for is Shatter. So Pokepo has Shatter, and it can't be saved because Neptuno used Beat. One support traded a piece. Sato's in trouble. Neptuno's dead. That was good. That was better played by Atlanta. Trancing Lucio, Pog champion. Okay. Atlanta looking better. Atlanta looking better. Maybe that first game was just nerves. The Torb got their confidence back. I love this setup, really. I really do from uh, Atlanta here. Uh, where's Defran? Defran's could be getting more value out of his right click than he currently is. Yeah, this is so good. I'm surprised. <laughs> Ooh, Carpe's grab gets eaten. Beautiful. Barrier comes out as well. Was the barrier necessary? I don't know. I'd have to look back to see what exactly triggered the barrier, but it seemed like overkill. Honestly, Atlanta could have also played that better. The fact that uh, Atlanta, sorry, the fact that Philadelphia made it through as far as they did along that pathing without getting more value out of it, like it almost seems like they didn't scout Philadelphia until they were about 10, 20 feet through that rotation. There's the Graviton. We don't have a perspective on it. The bomb coming in, the pin coming in. Dogman gets Carpe. It's just a crazy amount of damage. It's just a crazy amount of damage. People really underestimate how much a Zenyatta can do uh, DPS on his own. So, okay, so who's back capping? It's going to be uh, Poco. Atlanta's trying to fall back and they'll collapse on him and demech him. So it's going to be a it's going to be a momentary flip. The hammer comes out. They need to save Defran if they're going to win this fight, but he's not going to. Barrier comes out. The good news is that uh, Philadelphia uh, wasted. Well, it's not waste because they've actually been in control of this fight the entire time. So, hmm. Does Atlanta have support ultimates? 60%. Okay, this has become a lot more of an interesting map than it was going to be. So rally to force the engage, and then it's going to be all on Carpe to clutch this out. No, Dogman's charging his ult really fast here. Rally could have come out earlier. Trance is going... No, Trance isn't here yet. It is now, so they should be able to survive it. And Poco doesn't have bomb, so they should be fine here. Sato dies. Divas are dueling. There's a lot of people in trouble. And there's DeFran's Graviton to secure the deal. And the first map is going the way of Atlanta Rain. Nice. Good job. First map, really sketchy. Really sketchy. Second one, Philly kind of just shit the bed. And then the next one, Atlanta is starting to... Their warm-up is complete and they're playing better. Good stuff, Atlanta. Good stuff. What do you guys think?
Who did I predict to win? I predicted Atlanta to win. Why would Philly choose Ilios when Atlanta is really good at this map? I, there's a million reasons why people could think that. Gonna do guess minus R today? We already did, actually. That was a pretty fun map to watch. These teams are more evenly matched than I thought they would be. Um, yeah, but Atlanta looking like the better team. Cat, uh, oh, the question that I, I wanted to give you guys a poll. I wanted to give you guys a poll. How much damage can Zenyatta do? Or how much DPS can Zenyatta do alone? 150 DPS? 200 DPS? 250 DPS? Or 300 DPS? What do you guys think? Type 1, if you think it's 150 Type two, if you think it's two hundred DPS, three if it's three or two hundred fifty DPS, and then four if it's three hundred. So, especially when you're talking about when, like when you're talking about what a Zenyatta can really accomplish on his own, if a target is in Transcendence, right? Transcendence is actually three hundred health per second. That's how much Transcendence does. But a Zenyatta does 120 damage per headshot to a discorded target, and with a rate of fire of 2.5 shots per second, Zenyatta's solo DPS against a target in trance is 300. So a Zenyatta alone, if there's no barriers, negates trance on any singular target of his choosing. The more you know. Tron Weasley, thanks for the 11 months. Says, oh, hey, it's been a while. Andre the Stig with the nine months. Tantalus Gaming with the 200 bits says, what is the most misunderstood part of running goats from non-pros? Um, what is the most misunderstood part? Oh, 144. I don't know current patch stuff. I only know the, the, the league patch. <laughs> oh. Wait, so he does 144 on his own? What? Didn't they change? They buffed his damage, but they nerfed Discord, didn't they? I don't know current patch numbers. I only know the patch that the pros are playing on. Mirror Bright with the 200 bits says, Hey, Jane, you meant... Oh, I was going to answer the question about uh, what is the mis misunderstood part of running goats. Um, hmm. I think it's probably Graviton's usage. So if you asked a non-pro how Zarya's Graviton is used in goats... It would probably just be, people would just see it, say for like team wipes. But like counter grabbing as a concept is a very, very misunderstood um, by anyone other than pro teams. Miss the mint with the 300 bits is an interesting thing. Just from the start, Atlanta's team has seemed so much less stressed and like they're having fun, right? And Vancouver too. Uh, the fusion just look like they are not happy to be there. Yeah, I, I would agree with that assessment. And I agree that that assessment actually matters when it comes to winning and losing games. Uh, Mirror Bright with the 200 bits says, Hey, Jane, you mentioned a friend using his bubbles with perfect timing. I, his personal wasn't quite perfect, but it was well-intentioned. That sounds like an awesome topic. Could we get a video about it? Perfect time to use bubbles? I'm not sure if I would dedicate a video explicitly to that, but I might talk about it. Like, talk about maybe... Especially if Goats goes out of the meta, I might do, like, a post-mortem on the meta and all of, like, the little things that pro teams did that people didn't know about. Uh, and the game started. Okay. Zenyatta Goats mirror matchup. I know you're all super surprised by this, but uh, Philly's taking the alley, going on the high ground. Okay, so Atlanta's pushing in while Philly was trying to be a little bit more split. Poke Po and Defran are both really low, but getting healed up. I didn't even see where Erster was. I didn't even realize there was anybody over there. And then uh, it's going to be a very, very quick first cap for Philly. Congratulations, Silver Ruse. It's awesome to hear. Defran's going to get staggered. Unlock. It's actually not really a stagger since they've only got one person capping the point right now. 
It's more like collecting ult charge. Staggers would be implying that you're kind of um, like losing objective time or uh, like map control if it happens, but with you capping the point that slowly, like look at Atlanta Rain right here. So if you are going to be staggering, you want some sort of like room on the cart or distance on the cart. You want to clear a checkpoint. But even with the stagger onto Defran here, Atlanta Rain has finished like set up on arches. Not they didn't even get forced back to bookstore. They're at arches here. So despite losing the uh, first point so quickly, Atlanta is in a very very defensible location. And Defran once again outpacing Carpe about 30% to that graviton. Not enough follow up. The uh, pin didn't actually hit anything, but the hammer is going to find two, and that should be enough, especially with EQO being knocked. Uh, Philly, of course, they used the uh, Transcendence for the Graviton, didn't have it to try and uh, use it for uh, the Shatter, and Neptuno also did not have uh, his Barrier. So it's very, very common at the higher levels to be using um, your Barrier to counter Hammer. There's a lot of reasons why, but one of the main ones is because your Lucio is probably not going to get hit by a Shatter, even a well-placed one, if he's playing correctly. Okay, so Philly's going to the high ground. Not really sure what the point was that, other than they can't like they can't have a fight forced on them super early. Initial rally is going to be coming out of Erster. That's going to allow them to just take out Carpe. Cheeky pin coming out from Sato, but it doesn't work, and now they're in the firing line. So they're going to be pushing it back all the way to spawn. So Philly's rotation here, like, are they worried about a hyper-aggressive Atlanta rain? Because that's really the only reason you need to go up uh, through the area that Philly is pathing. Like, they don't take poke and things like that. But even if you go through this window, there's a risk of you being booped. And you can already see, well, like, let's see where Masa is playing. He's just waiting for it. He wants that boop so badly. He's just lurking like an assassin. And if you get Daco and Masa playing together, that window becomes more of a liability than anything, right? So they went through the window, then they're like, oh, maybe this wasn't a bad idea, even though it's the second time they've done it. Pushed back through main. Here comes another one. Bomb isn't in a very good place. There's the counter grab. What was I just talking about? Like, this... Okay. That was nice. Ooh. Okay, nice foot. Nice. Nicely played, Philly. That was nice. That was nice. So you don't see anything. And I don't see anything either. You literally can't see shit. But just because of like the order of the ultimates that were used, as well as the kill feed and the results of it, you, I, like just from thousands of repetitions of that same situation, I know what happened and know that Philly played it really well. Uh, we'll have to see if I can find like more perspectives of that uh, fight to kind of like talk about it in detail. That's the sort of fight that you could like really, really take a look at in uh, the World Cup viewer or like the the replays. And you could just tear that thing to pieces from so many different angles. So, from what I hear, and I don't know if this is public, but this might be, so this might be a leak. But, uh, as far as I'm aware, the Overwatch League teams are getting access to the viewer for Stage 2. And then it's, I think the goal is for it to be available to everyone uh, for Stage 3. I think that's what the goal is. Nice hammer. Good hold from Atlanta going on right now. Solo suck, thank you so much for the three months. Okay. Okay. See if they can find a way to displace that shield either with Neptuno, it's Lucio, or Sato with a charge. Grav, Rally. Rally will be on side for both sides. There it's coming out from Philly first. It would have been answered if Erster had it. There's Graviton 1. Is Atlanta going to counter Grav? Erster gets saved by Barrier. Transcendence isn't up yet. There's Bomb, but it. Oh, the Shatter. Or the stun is just a moment. Just a fraction of a second too late. Bomb plus the Shatter. That's down two on top of the two that they already had. And another nice hold for Atlanta. And, because Erster didn't have Rally, he didn't need to use it since they survived anyway, barely, but they survived anyway, and now Erster's going to have Been Rally here. all your YouTube videos, and now just sub just want to say thanks for all the great insight. You're very welcome. Thank you for the thousand bits. 
I'll, I'll start getting... Oh, man. I really miss making content. I really do. I want to get back into it. Especially, like, I've been upgrading video and audio stuff. I just, I just want to make as high-quality content as possible. Okay. Surprised Rally hasn't triggered yet. Defran is halfway to grab. That's going to be an important one. Boombox is also going to have to get a ton of value out of this Transcendence, probably aggressively if he wants to win with it. And as I say that, it's, it's used. The Hammer, however, is not going to find anything. The next uh, support ultimate for Atlanta isn't coming up for a while yet, but none of them have died yet, and Defran now has Graviton. Carpe is still lagging behind. There it's coming out, and because Boombox didn't get any of all of that Transcendence, it's not going to matter, and we're seeing a second point hold from Atlanta. Beautiful. Honestly, that was very well played. It's it's absolutely like, yeah, that was Philly's fight to win. That was Philly's fight to win. Absolutely no question about it. Um, there were no defensive support ultimates on the side of the Atlanta Reign, and they survived it anyway uh, with just the the rally. Boombox, like they identified the correct win condition, uh, but they couldn't capitalize on it. Right? They used the transcendence aggressively didn't find anything, Shatter didn't land, so I'm not sure if it was, like I didn't really see if Sato tried to combo that with like a Brigida or a Lucio of something of that variety, but it didn't connect. Um, yeah, and then Atlanta holds on second, so that's very nice. Yeah, Defran is playing very well so far. Ooh, Snap, Crackle, Pop. How does it feel watching a good Zarya? Uh -huh. Watching any player be good at a hero is just fantastic. I hope th I hope at the halftime they show the uh, the difference. I, I hope they show Carpe to Friends stat cards because I'm pretty sure to Friends almost lapping Carpe in grabs. To Friends Zarya is very good. Torindal, thanks for the prime sub. Scooter with the two months. Baymaster with the prime. Tenacious Tay with the nine months. Says we miss you too. Uh, Poe with the five months says, yummy. I'm not sure in reference to what, but yes. Uh, Mellow Master with the prime for four months in a row says, besides Dallas, whose coaching staff do you take inspiration from or like the most? Um, Paris, Eternal, actually. I know people are going to be like Kai Kai Lul or Omega Lul, whatever you want to say. And, you know, Kai Kai is Kai Kai. But if you set aside Kai Kai and you look at Damon and Seda... Like, they have Damon and Seda. That's insane. So, yeah. Um, Seda is another individual that I would really like to learn from. He has a different style. So RCK uh, has worked with Seda before and has talked about Seda's coaching style. And he seems like another very interesting person that I would want to learn from. I have massive respect for Bishop. Um, Hayes. I have respect for Hayes. Um, Coach Ray of the Chengdu Hunters. Very much. earned. A, he earned a ton of my respect. Uh, from the World Cup, that was, so, yeah, those guys are definitely the, the coaches that uh, I think about the most when I think about, like, people that I really, truly respect. Have I met Krusty? I have not met Krusty, and I have only heard second-hand accounts of his coaching style, so I don't have enough information about Krusty in order to say whether I think he's a good coach or not. Like, he's very highly rated people who will, you know, have good opinions, but I don't know anything firsthand. And I haven't talked to any players about Krusty's coaching style who would have a first person or a first hand account, rather. Neptuno's already really low. That's a, it's kind of interesting, actually, to note that uh, Dogman and Masa tried to get like a cheeky assassination on Neptuno. Ooh, Fire Strike was just got Erster low enough for him to get taken out there. But is it normally teams don't try and put a lot of resources into fragging a Lucio that's just wall riding unless he's actively feeding like Cruz but um, that's not even disrespect it's kind of like the best way of describing Cruz's Lucio playstyle um, is that he's very aggressive backline diver and like until he actually attempts that there's not really much point dealing with him because if you try and deal with him he's just a drain a passive drain on your team's resources which are better. Defran is just lobbing right clicks through the legs of the statue. What the fuck, Defran? Nice hammer. That's going to find two. Speed shatter. Speed shatters. Sneaky and insidious. Ooh, nice little counterpin from Mikio. And that's going to get the kill onto Popo, too. With their Zarya still alive, too, that's going to be a pretty decent cleanup. Okay, solid. 
Nice. Atlanta Rain landed the speed shatter, and Philly still brought it back off of the back of that counter pin from EQO. Not bad. What did they try and do there? Was it try and boop shatter, but with a diva instead of anything else? No, yeah, that's unfortunate, that bomb. Hmm. It would be tragic if Rain, Rain choked this. I didn't think that Diva's boop was like, you could get bashed, you feed a lot. I don't think it booped far enough to actually get a, like a Diva boop shatter, so I don't know what else he would be going for there. I, I love it. Pokepo and, uh, or sorry, um, Pokepo and Daco keep just having like little tiny Diva duels on high grounds. <laughs> okay. This is really good, the, what, like the area where Atlanta Rain took the fight. They're not stabilizing as fast as I would like. But they did kind of force Philadelphia to have to push back into them. D trading Daco's mech for Carpe is absolutely massive. That alone should win that fight there. But yeah, that, that, like, that was really good to push them as far as they did. Probably farther than normally you would have wanted to. Because then you can back up while stabilizing. While the opponent has to like push forward and expend resources to chase you to the objective. Because of where you've pressured. So that was well played by Atlanta. I don't know why it took them so long to do it. But now they have 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And uh... This last corner is, uh, it, they didn't even get it around the corner. So it would be, it would be a miracle for Philadelphia to, to uh, hold this. And there's, like, remember how we talked about the difference between, like, staggering and collecting ult charge? And how Philadelphia did it incorrectly? Atlanta Rain here, right? The staggers, they've gotten past arches, and they're going to get past bookstore. Whereas Philadelphia, because they fucked up the stagger phase, they had to fight not just two more fights in general, but they had to fight through two new choke points. So because Atlanta actually did that stagger phase correctly, they skipped two fight locations, and they're going all the way to the last one. There's the bomb coming in. Gets blocked. Hammer's gonna find Carpe. Get him! He's one! Oh! Oh, that could have been one right there. Trance coming out. Okay, I'm not liking the trance from Dogman. I'm not sure why it came out. Hammer does find a friend. Ah, oh, Dogman, Dogman, Dogman. Why did you trance that? Why did you trance that? Now Carpe has a grab and Philly has a free fight. Uh. What would be really tragic here is if Masa tries to beat Carpe's grab. Probably want to trade a rally for rally and force grab out of Carpe without any other ultimates. So play slow, get rally, or they like they're coming up on grab bomb. They could try and do that. Okay, so they did beat for the grab. Gonna be an overtime fight. This map is gonna be resolved in overtime. Okay, Atlanta is gonna start with the grav bomb, but I don't think it's gonna succeed. Hammer gets blocked, rallies come out. Doc goes up. There's the grab. There's the bomb. How are they going to resolve it? One for each. I didn't even see how that happened. Dogman gets another trance, but this means that Carpe has another free grab if they don't win right here. They got to kill Carpe. They got to kill Carpe. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, the support ultimates from Atlanta. Please! Please, Atlanta! And Boombox has trance. No fucking way. Oh, my God. The support ultimates from Atlanta. Please. For the love of God. You just...
No! No! Oh! oh. Well, no, no. I'm being super optimistic. I can't believe this. Amazing! Amazing! I did not know it was possible to throw that hard. We have reached new heights. We have reached new heights. I hope Philly's happy about that one, because that's the last freebie they get. Wow! Oh, I hope that doesn't tilt Atlanta, because if I... Oof. Oh, Volskaya. I love looking... I've become, like, I appreciate 2CP maps, because at least for me, it's the one that, like, really, really, truly shows you how a team thinks, how they tick, like, the influence of the coaches on the gameplay. So, let's see. I'll actually remember to take the intermission thingy off. Why is the UI so zoomed in this time? The numbers are getting cut off. Did they have changed their UI on me again? Unlucky. Okay. Here we go. Philly playing Winston Goats. Nice. Get to see something a little bit different. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But you know, you 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 get too much of anything and you start to appreciate the fine differences. Elk was the problem, by the way. Elk was the problem. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on. Are they still not going to win this fight regardless? They just destroy... Kill Carpe for the Lord. Sato's back on Hamster. Interesting. Neptuno won. Got him. Nice. Okay, I just stopped paying attention because I thought they won, but how did Philly take that back? Unbelievable. You just kill their main tank and then still managed to lose a fight on the first attack of 2CP. Dank. Dank. Carpe on the box. Gonna have to deal with that. Moss is giving it a shot. There it is. Knocks him off. What's the first ultimate on? EQO with the rally, but that's gonna be answered pretty quickly by Erster. Dogman is actually outpacing Carpe on his first Graviton, despite Carpe's frag. So... That's not really good. That's not how you wanted Atlanta Rain to play this one, uh, because they are going to. Uh, they didn't like. They lost that fight, and losing that fight isn't a problem in the grand scheme of things. Losing that fight without having uh, Philadelphia use ultimates—that is a problem. Um, and it is kind of like interesting that they have Philadelphia because of that really awkward situation where the Winston just got destroyed first. They're now stuck on boats or ball goats. It's the best name we have for it, really. Um, so mines is on right now, but uh, the big weakness right now, without a barrier, um, like, I was just going to talk about how your best shot at uh, destroying Philadelphia Fusion's composition is. Whoever that guy who said there's only one outcome to this game, either Atlanta wins or Atlanta throws. You're a damn prophet. You're a damn prophet. Look at you. So, Reinhardt Goats is the best at defending against a grav bomb combo, right? The second best is going to be Winston because at least he can have like a well-timed pers like a bubble placement. But if you grav bomb um, ball goats, they're fucked. Like they're they they will die all of them. So there's grav. There's a sound barrier coming out. Makes sense there, because it was... All right, Popo is split. Carpe blocks that. And Dogman's nowhere close to his next transcendence, so Atlanta needs to kind of try and stabilize here. 
But the transcendence from Boombox is going to allow them to go pretty aggressive here. Doesn't allow them to get anything, so Atlanta now has the advantage because Philadelphia didn't resolve that, and Grab should help them clean it up. Interesting. We are watching the Game of Throws, ladies and gentlemen. Game of Throws. Well, Atlanta takes the point, but you know what? It took him three minutes and 30 seconds to do it against Ball Goats. So are we seeing the start of the Atlanta tilt? Is that what we're seeing? They do have Trance. Carmine, Trance, is he going to try and use it aggressively here? If they do try and snowball, they might. Snowballing here would be so risky. But they know that Philadelphia doesn't have any support ultimates, so maybe they go for it. EQO has got Rally, though. So if they match tr Rally with Trance, which they just did, then Erster will come out of that with a Trance of his own. They kill Sato. That gives them map control. No, Atlanta should be able to take this. Yeah. Okay. Or Daco could feed. That's cool, too. Erster still doesn't have Rally? What was he doing? How did Erster, through that entire fight, not get like 20% ult on Rally? Carpe just failed three times in a row at the same sorry jump. Okay, you got it. Pog. Uh, interesting how the quality of these teams is changing so dramatically between maps. Still, 93% is good, but assuming that this is going to multiple Sato, he manages to slam Daco, but he's safe enough. Popo takes out EQ. Oh, that's big! And Sato drops a moment later, and then Boombox wasted his trance because Elk was the problem. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay. They're still in it to win it. They're still in it to win it. <laughs> okay. Time for Philly's attack. <laughs> nice eyeballs, nerd. Wow. That's a new one. <laughs> Imagine using that as an insult unironically. <laughs> nice eyeballs, nerd. Oh, man. Okay, Philly, what are you going to do? What is Atlanta going to do? Atlanta's holding a little bit of an interesting place. Philly's doing a little bit of an interesting rotation. Have I seen this rotation from any other team? Are they going to drop? They're going to their box makes more sense. Like, no, the high ground makes more sense. Daco and Poco just, you know, consorting with the enemies. Oh, I looked away and missed the engage. I'm unlucky. Oh, that was a great double boop. That was a double boop. So, like, it's sometimes you, you there's the setups are very rare because it takes a while and takes some coordination. But if you get, um, like, as soon as the diva contacts somebody, the Lucio boops and they go flying. And for like high ground setups, because both the Lucio and the uh, diva have vertical mobility, they can like catch people off guard and just destroy people that way. So it was pretty cool. Nice. Really played that pretty good. Dogman's still outpacing Carpe, so that's pretty decent. Sato's got Primal. Dufran. It's harder to get... Uh, charge against the Winston Goats there, but still being outpaced by about 25% here. This isn't a snowball situation, though. That's the good thing. Nice split from uh, Sato. Very nice jump. Very nice primal. Bomb came out. He's getting stunned down, though. Not sure why you would choose to fight all three supports in a small location. Dogman actually needs to go into the team there. He does, yes. Trance comes out, but they killed a friend through it. I'm not sure if it was because of Sato's bubble, but it looks like that was an isolation play. Sato is in trouble. Masa and Erster are trying to finish him off, but the Graviton is coming out. And then, yeah. So this is, like, this kind of rapid cap isn't really that surprising. Um, goats, 
matchups on 2CP very, very commonly go to higher uh, numbers of captures on 2CP, and it's kind of like the reason that games have been so long. Nice, Defran uh, is taking out his boombox, uses that again. Defran had grav too, so. But uh, this isn't like the end of the world for Atlanta or anything. Um, it's definitely more challenging. Like Atlanta having burned three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock on their first take attempt, where they kind of like got the first pick on Sato, he came back on ball, and then they still struggled for quite a long time. Like if that mistake hadn't happened, the time banks would have been similar. So the question is from now, uh, basically, this first attack from Atlanta is going to be really, really important because they need to close the gap on this time bank difference between the two teams. What Atlanta did would be probably around average cap time for GOATS teams on this map. <laughs> Masa swore Atlanta should be forced to play Elk. <laughs> oh, man. OP Greek, thanks for the prime sub. Angie with the 10 months. Uh, Taurus with the 200 bits says, Fusion alike, if you want to throw, catch. We will throw harder. WSM dude with the prime sub. Rob Swift with the 10 months. Uh, are you? You're not Tempest, Rob. Uh, Ginger with the three months. Rock to Mars with the 200 bits says, 2CP also tells you what rank you are in. 2CP also tells you what rank you're in? I don't know what you mean by that, but hey. Ronzo with the Prime. I am Potadius. That's a sweet name. With the 200 bits, Jane, who do you think will win the Defiant versus Shock game? I think Shock will win. Uh, they're a very good team. Yeah. They're... I'll talk more about it afterwards. Okay, so Atlanta needs a really quick cap here. Philly are trying the Winston Goats once again. Getting some good cleave. Sato only gets 25% on that. It's not too bad. Neptune is in a great boot position trying to split them. Sato jumping in once again. That's ah, everybody's dead. Hmm. Well, Sato got a free primal. Don't know why. Like, so if you are doing that rotation, you don't want to fight Winston Goats there, right? You're not like in a good position. Your your backline is too clumped up on you. Winston's cleave is going to get too much value. So Atlanta needed to like if they think they can either try and like bait the jump or speed past it. But when they got engaged, they kind of like just. Stayed there and almost went forward a little bit. I'm not sure if it was because of the boot, but it didn't look like it was the boot. And, uh, yeah. Second fight. They're going forward even without the D.Va here. So, Primal up if they need it as well. Was it really necessary, Sato? I understand they gave it to you for free, but it doesn't mean that it has no value. So this is one of the things where confidence will just like indirectly benefit a team is if you're so confident in your actions and you don't hesitate at all, plays and defensive setups like the Philadelphia Fusion has right now get less value. Every second of hesitation is just a ton of value for Sato here. Like just look right there when Atlanta Rain wanted to kind of like rotate into that left, three of them were in, the other three kind of like backed off when Sato was trying to get the cleave damage there and Sato got more value because of it. So... Atlanta is a little bit shaken. You can tell just from their gameplay, but they're still in it. So DeFran takes the box. Okay, so this is really good. Sato's going to have to do something, make something happen here. They're collapsing on Sato. He is going to die. That's beautiful. So that was that was good peel. That was really good peel. And hopefully they'll actually be able to get the cap off this. They use hammer, though. They use just meh. Okay, it's better than using grab, that's for sure. Still would have liked to have hammer in the alt bank. Now, this also is not, unfortunately, a, uh, a snowball situation for Atlanta. It is going to be last fight, though. 30 seconds on the clock after they capture that first one. Cap, 30 seconds. Okay, let's go. So what are they going to do? No rallies for either team. No hammers for either team. So it's, ex it's a perfect mirror match. So he who grabs first loses. It might sound weird, but uh, he who grabs first loses, and Philly's going to play slow and try and force Atlanta to, uh, to go onto the point to attack them because they really have no rush. There's five seconds, and they're going to have their resources burned while they try and do this. EQO's in trouble, though. DeFran. There's the trance. There's the bomb. Can they block it? 
No, sir. He who grabs first loses. Or, he who gets his grab eaten also loses. That's that secret second line of the Chinese idiom. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the alternative version. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> what reasons do you grab first? Not in that situation. <sighs> so the reason why you can't grab first in that situation is because you can't... It, it, doesn't allow you to actually do so what if the second grab gets eaten <laughs> don't know that that is unexplored territory how did defran get his grab eaten anyway did he think he saw matrix or something there's no real point to just yeet the grab there unluck unluck Yeet. Game. There was a brief section last year where they started swapping in and out a little bit. Um, but he has been a Unless Philly royally fucks up, this is their map. I still think they would have lost. Even if that grab didn't get eaten, like the setup was like Atlanta had resources and cooldowns in their favor, and Atlanta was going to be forced onto the point because of objective pressure, and they tried to grab first. Like. Okay, Carpe. I see, I see your trickery. No, the Chinese idiom is actually Elk was the problem. <laughs> okay, Atlanta, you need a miracle. So Philly's doing this rotation twice. This is interesting. I haven't thought about this rotation in depth, but they're doing it twice. It worked the first time. Are they, like, trying to do it to get Boombox... I would have to look at this in a lot more detail to see why and how Philly's engaging. I missed the engage the first time. So they're going all the way around. They're splitting out. Poco's in place for a boop. What is Neptuno going to do here? Are they going to try and do this double boop again? Ooh, Neptuno gets booped off and is being defensive here. You know what? I'll take it. Now Atlanta is on the low ground, though. Masa, please don't feed. They had to use projected on Masa. Okay. They're going to have to drop. They should drop it back corner. Sato's back on ball again. Can they stun him out? They gave him a free tick. Stun. Oh, you got bubbled? Good bubble. You're going to give him a second tick too, Atlanta? They're, so they're jumping the gap. Carpe gets deleted. They weren't in position to stop that with a boop. Traded for one, though. Transcendence is going to match, and it's going to come out later, which is going to give Atlanta a pretty hefty advantage, as well as the rally from Erster. They should be collapsing on EQO. Three, two. Okay, he died on two, not one. Um, Slam is just going to be getting ult charge for Sato. Is he going to stay on the ball, really? Hmm, interesting. Okay. They burnt two minutes so far. They did give two ticks, though. Certainly not optimal. Uh, Carpe is going to have grab way before Dogman. Dogman did have to trance, though, if he was going to win that fight. Um, they do have Bomb. Pokepo doesn't have Shatter either. This is going to be a really tough fight for Atlanta. On the upside, Philly has gone to Reinhardt Goats instead of Winston Goats. And the reason for that swap is probably because they ult-tracked Grav Bomb, and then they know with Ball or with Winston they won't be able to uh, block it, ideally. So they need that uh, shield. To block it. Popo, get out of there, please. You know what? It's despite it hitting Neptuno, that is actually probably an I like an optimal result. Despite that. Um like grabs don't need to kill everybody. They just need to kill enough. So they've answered back though. So that's unfortunate. But uh killing Neptuno there was actually just fine. Um like if you could if you had the ability to kill Lucio through a Graviton. You would do it instantly. Uh, it's just that normally there's shields and bubbles and shit in the way. Okay, so they're playing for a draw or a Philadelphia Fusion win. Why the fist? And why would you drop the Zarya for it? Neptuno 
Who's just keeping his eye on the prize? That's the thing. If you're looking for the kills, it's not what it's all about. You got to get the points to get the wins. Philadelphia Fusion, 2 1 in the lead now in the series. And yep, the frustration apparent there for the Rays. They know that they gave that one away. We're going to be taking a quick break. And when we come back, we'll see what the Fusion are capable of. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. That is what we call mental boom. Mental boom. Atlanta's done. Atlanta is so done. Oh, man. <laughs> just, just take that confidence and grind that shit to powder. <laughs> oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, man. Okay, Atlanta. Let's see the mental resilience. The fortitude, the confidence, the trust in your teammates. Hold it to come back from the brink. Or just let Philly win and have a good evening. But, hey, let's, let's see which one it is. Let's see which Atlanta rolls out of these gates. Play Gengu, you, won't, you coward. Okay. Zen goats versus... Ah, Zen goats. Okay. Carp is on the train car. Neptuno's on that part of the train car. Are they just sandwiching them? Okay, Boombox died. <laughs> that was a very interesting place for Boombox to be in. Okay. Use that for confidence, speed, and momentum. And violence. Is there violence in there somewhere, too? Nice. Good start. Good start, Atlanta. Not bad. Kind of like a weird pincer play from Philly. Smart for Poco to charge that, too. Okay. Here we go. How are you going to try and retake this? Back onto the cart. They've already stopped it. Dogman dies right away. Didn't see how. Hammer comes in. Drops two. That should be enough. As long as Popo doesn't die. The E got on him. Very nice from Urster. That should also give him rally. Oh, what a hammer from Sato. Game-saving hammer. Ooh, we have the Banshees back, do we? Okay. Nice shatter from Sato. Nice shatter from Sato. I didn't see if it was assisted. I always like I always question every time a shatter is successful if somebody assisted with the shatter, whether it was like a boop or a stun, because sometimes they happen so fast you miss them. Okay. Push the cart. You only need like a couple more meters to get like the problem with the cart where it is is Okay, it's, it's moved enough now that it's in a one-fight situation, but where the cart originally stopped and why Philly was, like, so adamant about stopping the cart exactly where it was is you need to stop the cart at about 40 meters if you want a third fight on Route 66. So even if they had lost the fight originally, because Philly did stop it where it did, they guaranteed themselves a third fight. But with the payload having moved past the billboard, now it's like a last fight situation. So especially if Atlanta can get a bit of distance on this cart while they're winning the fight, they'll guarantee no recontest. So there's little things like this that pro teams will always be considering. So like, see how the payload got to about 53 meters before the payload started moving? That should mean that any recontest coming in from the side of the Philadelphia Fusion uh, is really late and staggered. So not everyone's quite ready, but Philly is going to get a recontest. Hammers, you see how the beat counters the hammer? And Masa didn't have his beat, so Sato once again is popping off, but traded one for one. Carpe's at half. He's low. Nobody can chase him. Oh, he is chasing him. Get him. He's 38. Got him. Nice. Okay, so they got a recontest. Um... Didn't have the time to, like, set up anything they wanted. They just had to get there and fight with what they had. But Sato, once again, almost carried the fusion uh, to that. But nope, Atlanta Rain is going to be making it into the second part of the map here. Do you hate fusion? No. No, I don't hate fusion. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a, usually a pretty dangerous spot to be in, especially if Atlanta wins this fight. So in these sort of areas, you want to be a lot more aggressive than you normally would be. Um, in turn, like both teams want to, just because this fight is so very, very critical. Uh, it, like if Atlanta Reign gets stuck here, it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to break out. Whereas if Philadelphia hold them, they can stuff them pretty easily. So Dogco is retreating. Dogman's going to get staggered. So the payload has moved far enough um, that Atlanta Reign won't have as much of a difficulty as they would have if it was like 20 meters farther back or something. Like that area where the doors close behind the cart can become a very, very difficult area to move the cart in. But with the cart here, what they can do is they can either go the direction they're going or they can go through caves, through zeds, and drop on the cart from there. There's a grav boombox, but the bomb is coming out. Where's the charge? Ooh, it... I didn't see who the charge hit, but something kind of misplaced it. And then Poco finds another two. So I'm not sure why the pin um, from Poco, or Pokepo rather, didn't allow the bomb to actually kill anyone. Not sure if it was bubbled or something, but I missed it. Something prevented Atlanta Reign's bomb combo from connecting, despite it being well executed. It was counter-grabbed? Grav canceled the pin. Okay, thank you. DeSoto getting just beefy. Uh, not sure the beat was necessary there, um, but like... One of the things, like, good carpet getting beefy beef swings. Sato, once, Sato is playing very, very well this map. Very well. Um, so one of the things is, like, Atlanta is trying to push pretty aggressively, but they're also clustered together. Um, so Sato's swings are just putting a ton of pressure um, on the Atlanta Reigns front line. So Sato is, so far, like, very clearly the MVP of this map. Sato's going up again. Atlanta's a little bit more split out. Pokepo does land the slam, but he gets stunned and knocked back, so he can't follow up. Sato gets booped as well, so both hammers kind of not worth much. Daco is low, gets healed up, and they're going to be moving this to payload here. Carpe's on the high ground in a great position to burn Pokepo, uh, but the trance does come out. Graviton is available for both sides. Interesting grav. I didn't see what was underneath. It's also going to be very difficult for the bomb. Defran, you got to stay alive, my friend. They're covering for him. Ah, he still gets taken out. That's a huge amount of damage gone, and Carpe's still up. But Carpe doesn't even look like he's at high energy. Overtime coming in. Carpe is on the high ground. EQ is up there as well. A Brigida and Azaria on an entrenched high ground is very difficult to resolve. The E was used on Boombox, but he is discorded, so that's going to be a difficulty. Popo needs to charge out of there if he wants to survive. The grab is coming in. It gets eaten. Yeah. So that, that grab was kind of forced out from Defran because of the situation that Popo found himself in. Um, because of the situation that Popo found himself in, he, they needed to do something because it was going to be last fight and Popo needed to get out of there. So it was really his only option, but it did end up getting eaten, so it doesn't really matter. Now, Route 66 is a map where, like, first holds aren't uncommon, but, uh, yeah, it looks like Philadelphia is going to have a fantastic uh, hold on this map here. Wait. Okay. <laughs> it, oh! If they didn't get knocked off there, it looked like they were starting to turn things around. I just kind of, I just kind of just given it up on them. But yeah, so that was that was very well played. Sato especially carried that map. That was very good. That was very good. Octavia, thank you so much for the Prime. Miglet with the Tier 1 for 9 months in a row. Says, love your stuff, keep it up. Join Atlanta. <laughs> Lol. Zero with the Prime for 2 months in a row. Says, why is Spitfire so unpredictable? I don't know. Boom. It, not sure why we saw this replay. Did I miss something? Oh, just him getting knocked off. Okay. They had Barrier too there. They probably would have been able to cap that point. Because Dogman landed a headshot as well. Why are we come on, Boring? What did I miss? I don't know what's going on, but hey. 
Uh, Matha Shax with the four months says, why Winston Goats? Is Sato's Ryan weak or does the Winston play style fit Philly for another reason? Uh, what's the easy way to answer that question? I don't know of an easy way to answer that question before the next map starts. Do you know who wouldn't have seen nine to that? Elk. Elk wouldn't have seen nine to that. Okay. This is a more classic setup here. Daco. Yeah, like Daco being, or sorry, Poco being in such a weird position uh, when the other team rolled out there. Okay, focus, Jane. Bye, Sato. Yo gets taken. Urshur also drops. That's fine. Brigida's not a big deal if Brigida's late to a fight. In like a poke phase, the only thing that Brigida tries to do is proc Inspire using the whip. And then at the engagement, you just need that E. So they are going to actually hold back. I would have thought they would have tried to fight that, even without Urster being there. They're going to push back in, though, before Billboard for sure. Oh, Masa went back to Taxi. Okay. They probably just didn't want to kind of like fall behind on ult rotations. So they'll take it safe. They already were in ahead of old rotations because of the uh, the one first fight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where from? Uh, just like ginger chicken or rice? Chicken fried rice. Yeah, just chicken fried rice. Thank you for the commentary. BTW Go Fusion. Go <laughs> Fusion. You're very welcome, funny. Okay. Clone Man's ordering me Chinese. Hammer finds Dogman. Barry comes out. Sato get hits by that bomb, too. They're going to counter with their own beat, though. DeFran's got Graviton. He's the only person with an ultimate left here that can actually win the fight. They're going to grab bomb anyway, though. That's actually, like, really big. Because if you look at the cart, it's at 31 meters. It's not even close to that, like, 45, 50 mark, right? So we're still, well, conceivably, they're definitely going to get another fight. They're not going to get the three because they backed off, but they have another fight and they have a, enough time that they get the full reset, they get the full setup, they can path as they want, they can take the map control they need, and then they also have their own Graviton. So unless Defran fucks up and gets his Grav eaten, which it's Defran, he's not going to get his Grav eaten. Um, Daco? See, told you, Defran's not going to get his Grav eaten. They have no bomb for it, though, so no burst. Trance is going to keep them alive through it. Hammer needs to get EQO. Yes, and it broke mech, but they're trading. Daco's going for the Mega again. I think this is Philly's fight. Daco's going to bomb that, eh? It's going to break Poco's mech. Nice, it traded back. Don't think it's going to matter, but hey. Okay. Is anybody going to get staggered? Cap? Yes, two staggers. Okay, so it's going to be insanely difficult for, or two late spawns, not staggers, but it's going to be insanely difficult for Philadelphia to actually, or for Atlanta rather, to stuff Philly at this choke here. Like, if you were going to kind of like pull out a miracle hold, you would have had stopped them within the about the first 20 meters of this point. But that's not going to happen. Um, so this should be practically, well, maybe they go for it. They're getting a lot of progress. If you want to stop this and get a second fight, you need to fight now, Atlanta. Okay, how are they going to play this? Because Philly has six ults. Hammer gets tranced. So, okay. Carpe's got grab, which means they're going to have to use barrier... And because they've put them in this situation, they are going to have to actually barrier the grav. There it is. The hammer comes out, so they can't actually pin. They can, oh, good! The hammer, the counter hammer, made sure that EQO couldn't... Oh, beautiful. Pokepo finally came up massive. Whew! Whew! Good job, Pokepo. Good job, Pokepo. They were set up... Like, Philly's grav bomb executions have gotten a lot better. I'll, I'll give them credit for that one. Like, their grav bomb executions uh, have been better than Atlanta Reigns. Um... So that's good, but that EQO was prevented from stunning that because of the counter hammer. So good, good stuff from Popo there. 
Do friends are grav? I missed that. That's unfortunate, though. Daco's bomb. Finds Carpe! No way! I thought he was out of the LOS there. Neptuno's trying to move the cart just to make sure it doesn't move back into the bottom of that choke. Sato's in trouble. Nice. Okay, DeFran's almost got his grab back. DeFran's almost got his guard back. <laughs> Interesting. Philly doesn't have anything. So when Philly went from having six ultimates to being at a four ultimate disadvantage, all because of Pokepo's counter hammer on that grab. That was such an impactful shatter from Pokepo happening. You know, like we were memeing about it yesterday where Bumper landed a four-man shatter during a cleanup phase and he got like four shatter kills. You know, his shatter efficiency was great and all of this. But Pokepo's one singular stun and elimination on, uh, on uh, EQO there, vastly more impactful. So he may not get like big stat lines for that, but that was such an important play from Pokepo. And a stagger on Poco. Nice. Okay, they're coming up on Grab Bomb and both support ultimates. I had almost ridden Atlanta off. Is it just that whatever team I cheer for loses? Is this, is this how it happens? Is this how it happens? Because we're in final fight territory with Grab Bomb and double support ultimates up for Atlanta. They don't have trance. So, like, fight early, Atlanta. And DeFran, just don't get your grab eaten and you win. I know that's a tall ask. Literally, that's as simple as this fight is. Why am I... I have never been so nervous for a grab getting eaten before. You're giving... You just gave Boombox his transcendence. Okay, fine. That's cool. We want to play it that way. I don't have any problem with it. Oh my god, my heart can't fucking take this. Carby's like, let go, Carby's let like, go, so... Trance? Why did you trance, dog, man? They still have grab! I can't fucking take it, man. Come on, DeFran, pop off. I don't even know where he is, but he's popping off in the kill feed. He's dead now. Oh, no. They had that. No. They're going to be able to get a last contest. No, our start. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I... <laughs> Congratulations, Philly. God, I hope they feel good about that win. <laughs> oh, why? I want to watch that last fight again. Why did Dogman trance? Did anybody have... Is it, if anybody's watching Dogman's perspective, like, clip it. I want to watch that last fight from Dogman's perspective. What happened there? I gotta find out. Shatter? Pokepo got shattered. Didn't they also have beat though? Let's watch this again. Okay, let's watch this. What did I miss? Okay, so this is the point in time where... So both support ultimates are up for both teams. Grav Bomb is available for both teams. Uh, Hammer is closer to Sato. Okay. So there's the projected onto Pokepo. Moving forward. They're being forced back here. Five seconds. If they just kept this pressure up, Carpe's low. There's the trance. So this happened, right? Did, okay, let me see this again. No, 
I'll ask, I'll answer that right after I finish this. So Sato's here. Sato flanks and catches them from the side. Okay, so he catches that. And Dodgen reactively... Tr but Masa has beat here. And Masa's not stunned. Masa has beat here. Hmm. What was Masa doing? Unless it was like communicated and coordinated that they'd be using trans first. So either way, I definitely think that should have been beat. He probably would have been stunned. Yeah, he probably would have been stunned. But I think the best the chance there is still to to use beat because if you don't, Carpe gets a free grab. Like absolutely. So if you do use the transcendence, you need to get value during it. But if you're using it defensively to try and keep people alive or on the ground, not only do you not have all of your DPS, but you don't have the Zenyatta's DPS and you don't have the Discord because he's in trance now. So you're like tanking it to survive it, which you probably will, but you will not survive what comes just a moment later. So, so trance ends. There's the grab. And it's also kind of weird that uh, did... So Daco didn't try and eat Carpe's Grab after the Transcended. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Looks like he did. So this bomb is used to try and just make sure... Uh, or no, the, both grabs came out of here. Okay, so the hammer comes up from Pokepo trying to shatter, but it's going to be blocked. No, it hits Carpe. Hmm. I, I, I think it's the support ult usage again. It's unfortunate, but I, I still think that's the case. Boombox, Bus Express. Boombox got MVP? Should be Sato. Sato played pretty... Like, at the end, Sato played really well. Um, Boombox got MVP, really? It's a, doom, a different team when Boombox is in. Can't believe that's the narrative people are going with. Philly's undefeated with Boombox in. They make so many mistakes. They make so many mistakes. Atlanta's mistakes are just larger and more impactful. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It's way easier to criticize a team than it is to actually make them play well. Easy. I, I like this. I should just quit coaching. Go back to just making fun of people. Easy clap. <laughs>